Hi everybody, this is Linda with Linda's Babies. <clears throat> I'm here tonight with my little Courtney. She's my partial silicone. I just love this little one. She's so sweet, so petite. Um, I wouldn't have this baby if it wasn't for Stephanie Ortiz. Um, I had a big silicone that was much too big for me and she was too hard for me to handle. And Stephanie sweetly traded this sweet baby for my baby. And this baby is just the perfect size for me. Now this we did last year sometime. I've had this baby for about a year now, I think. And I just adore her. She's just beautiful. She's a petite little one. She wears size newborn clothes. And tonight she's wearing the sweetest little Ralph Lauren sleeper with a little sweet collar um, edged in lace. It's got a sweet little... Pink, peachy pink print to it. It's white with a little flowery print with little tiny green leaves. And I just love this little sleeper. It snaps up the back. She's got some little pink mitts on to protect her little hands. And um, today I was watching Kelly Girl's video about checking over your silicone um, periodically to make sure that it's there's no damage or tears just to keep up on the maintenance and to just to basically in taking good care of your silicone it's a good idea to periodically check them for damage or anything that might be wrong so that you can um, get it taken care of before it comes much worse and I do periodically check my silicone Courtney she's a partial silicone she has a cloth body and full silicone arms and legs and a silicone head she has an open mouth, and she's got the most beautiful dark hair. Um, so I do periodically check on her, check her over, but I hadn't done it in a little while, and, and Kelly Girl, with her video, reminded me to do that. So tonight I took her clothes off, and I went over her carefully and made sure there was nothing wrong, and I didn't find any damage except while examining her, I was checking her neck, and I realized her neck ring the plastic neck ring that the artist put around her neck so that her head can easily turn within her body had broken. And this is it. And look at that. How this happened, I have no idea, but it had broken and left unchecked. And if I hadn't discovered it, this could easily have damaged the silicone in her neck and might have even caused a tear or a cut or anything that could have damaged her neck severely um, to the point where, you know, I might not have been able to have her head on her body anymore. So I'm so glad that I checked her today. Thank you so much, Kelly, for reminding me. And I'm so glad that I checked and I found this. And I was able to take her head off and replace the ring. I happen to have another one of the right size. So she now has a new ring around the flange of her neck. You can just see the edge of it right there. And um, now it's not gonna cut into her neck. So thank you, Kelly, for reminding me to do that. I am so thankful that nothing happened to my sweet girl. So um, again, that's why it's so important that we keep up with the maintenance of our babies. These dolls are not cheap. Mine is not a super expensive one, but she is expensive enough that I don't want anything to happen to her. So um, I'm so glad that I checked and that Kelly girl reminded me. So anyway, I just wanted to share this sweet girl today or tonight and um, tell you my story so that hopefully you all go and check your babies and take good care of them. And um, I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.